All right, we're still studying how to find the areas of triangles. We've got a little bit more challenging of a word problem here, so let's get to it. The base and the height of triangle B are three times greater than the base and height of triangle A. How many times greater is the area of triangle B than the area of triangle A? Let's find out. The first thing I like to do when I have a word problem is try to find the keywords. Right away, three times greater jumps out. So I know that's going to be really important. And then in this one, the question is also going to be very important. How many times greater is the area? So those are some things I really want to focus on. Uh, so that's why I underline them. Now let's get to the actual problem. Well, unfortunately, we don't have a lot of information. Whenever I have problems like this, one of the best problem solving strategies to use is draw a picture. It's talking about two triangles. Let's draw two triangles. I know triangle B is going to be greater. It's going to be bigger than triangle A. So I'm going to first just draw a little. There's going to be my triangle A. And then for B, let's use a different color. Let's make it quite a bit bigger, right? Because we know the base and the height of triangle B are three times that of A. All right, so there's B, there is A. They don't have to be perfect, it's just a picture, just to help us kind of understand the problem. All right, so now let's see if we can figure it out. We know that the base and height of triangle B are three times greater than whatever they are for triangle A. Unfortunately, they don't tell us what the base and the height are of triangle A. And any time we have problems like this that are really vague, that don't give you very much information, just make it up. They don't tell us what the base and the height of triangle A are, so let's just pick some numbers. Let's say the base is four. We don't really need any units. And the height, let's say, I don't know, it looks like it's shorter, so let's say that's three. If the base of triangle A is four, and the base of triangle B is three times greater than that, naturally that would mean the base of triangle B is 12, four times three. If the height of triangle A is three. The height of triangle B has to be three times greater, so three times three gives us nine. All right, so now we've got some numbers to work with. The question says how many times greater is the area of triangle B than the area of triangle A? So let's find the area of both. All we needed was base and height. By the way, I just made some right triangles here, if you were wondering. They are perpendicular. That's why I chose right triangles, make it simple. Uh, but let's find the areas. All right, so for triangle A, we've got a base of four times a height of three divided by two, because remember it's a triangle, we gotta divide by two. And that gives us an area, well that's 12 divided by two is six. So the area of triangle A is gonna be six. How about for B? Well, we've got a base of 12 times a height of nine. Again, we gotta divide by two. I'm gonna simplify this time. And we get the area is 54. The question is how many times greater is the area of triangle B than triangle A? Well, how many times greater? In other words, six times what is going to give us the area of B, which was 54. That's what this question is asking. How many times greater? So six times what would give us 54? And if you know your multiplication facts, you should know that that is going to be nine. Well, what, what if you pick different numbers? Would it change things? That's a very good question. Let's check. Let's try seven and four. How about that? So seven times three would mean for triangle B, it's got a base of 21. Four times three, that's going to be 12. Let's find the areas. So we got an area for triangle A of 14 and area of triangle B of 20, 126. And again, the question, how many times greater? Last time it was nine times greater with the original numbers we chose. Let's see if it's still nine. Well, 14 times nine, four times nine is 36, carry the three, nine times one is nine, plus three is 12. And yeah, we get 126. So we got nine times greater again. No matter what numbers you choose for triangle A, as long as the base and height of triangle B are three times greater, the area of triangle B will always be nine times greater than that of triangle A. And here's one to try on your own. 